My name is Emily Aiken. I'm currently the Vice President of Client Engagement at Traction on Demand, and I have about 20 years of experience in the nonprofit industry and started doing technology consulting in about two and a half years ago. I've always thought of myself as a leader, and so um, going to CCL was fun to be surrounded by other leaders. Um, but for me, I think it was just empowering. Um, the program I was in was had a, a lot of strong women, and I was the only one from the nonprofit industry. And so seeing and understanding others that were at similar places in their career was really rewarding. There was a kind of sense of community. We stayed in touch for a long time to this day. I'm still in touch with one of the women eight years later. Um, but I think it also gave me the confidence to really understand uh, where my priorities are. It was, certainly was about work for sure, some of it, but a lot of it was also about other things. Like I came home and said, I want to have more friendships. I had sacrificed so much for my career that I had given up friendships. And I called up a, a woman in town and said, we're going to go on a lunch date and we're going to become friends and I'm going to prioritize this. And so um, it really helped me both professionally and personally to really understand who I was and be more confident in that. I will reflect on one um, one of the activities that we did um, that has really struck me. Um, you know, we were outside doing these quirky activities where it would blindfold us and, you know, being a little uptight type A, I was like, oh, Lordy, what are we doing? You know, we're going on an adventure. Um, I'd much rather, you know, uh, kind of stick to something a little bit more traditional because I'm not, not always kind of experimental. But it pushed me outside my comfort zone, and I think that was the intent, and it worked. Um, but I've reflected on it many, many times since. It was kind of this uh, pretend, you know, crossing of this river, and you had to jump on the pretend rocks to kind of get across the river, and we were all all blindfolded, I think, and we all had to go together. And being the typical type A leader that I am, I was determined to go first, even amongst the leaders, I was going to be first. And I got out in front of the river. And then I got all the way to the other side and uh, looked back and realized that nobody had actually gone with me. And I had failed to kind of bring everyone along. And I think it was a really good metaphor for, um, in many ways, my leadership style is I can be a bull in a china shop, I can get a ton done, I'm really proud. Of, of how um, aggressive I could be in affecting change and saying things that people are scared to say and, and being that uh, confident leader. Um, I've thought about it many times and I've often thought about how am I making sure I'm looking back and that I'm bringing the team with me and that we're all um, moving through this river together. And so I, I guess I would just say, you know, the, the ways that CCL has impacted me have been both direct and indirect, um, but it certainly has had a profound impact on how I think about my leadership and, and how my, I've been successful in my career. I was really struck when I was at CCL, just kind of walking around on the campus. We were down in North Carolina. It was kind of a big deal um, to be on site for the week um, of some of the art in the hallways. Um, and there was this incredible kind of um, metallic kind of art um, that was clearly painted on metal. Um, and it was a New York City kind of uh, scene. And at the time I was living in the city and um, taxi cabs and kind of bright colors. And um, it really just struck me. And all these years later, eight years later, I've thought about it many times. And, you know, I was on the road like crazy. We lived in New York for a long time. And then I would travel back and forth to New York every single week on the train and spend nights in hotels. And then COVID hit and I've been stuck in this office and on the Zoom for two years and I haven't traveled and it's been very claustrophobic, I'm sure for all of us. Um, but as I start to look around my home office, I was thinking I need to invest in this space and I need to make it more mine because I don't think I'm ever going to be on the road the way I used to. I don't think we're ever going back. And so I started to actually think about where would, what would I want in this office that would really represent me? And honestly, the, the moments at CCL were so impactful. I still have you know, the picture of the, the team up on my desk um, from when we were all there together for my kind of certificate. Um, and so I started researching metallic art and to Googling and trying to figure it out. And so finally I said, well, I was actually down with COVID and had some extra time on my hands. And I said, um, I'm just going to reach out to them. So out of the blue, eight years, I reached out um, and sent an email. And Laura Gibson, who helps to run the art program, was amazing and responded within 24 hours and said, I'm happy to help you find the artist. What dates were you here? And let me figure out who was the artist and put me in touch. Um, his name is Scott Harris. And um, I've actually now commissioned him to do a piece. I've never commissioned a piece of art in my life, um, but he's going to do a piece and it will replace the one behind me. And we're going to have it in my office right behind my Zoom. And uh, hopefully it'll be here in the next couple of months. But it's a nice connection back to CCL. It's a nice connection to New York City. Um, and honestly, it's a nice connection in kind of investing in myself and really um, surrounding myself with different moments in my career that were really important. Thank you.